With arrays, it's very easy to add items to it. It's more difficult to remove an item, especially if the item is not the very last item in our array. And so in this quick video, we're going to take a look at a handful of approaches we have for removing items from our array. And so to get started, I'm going to create an array first, call this even numbers, let even numbers, and it's going to be 0, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, and 10. So we have seven items here, and we can kind of see that, well, this is not great because we want an array called even numbers, and the number seven is currently here. And so I really want to kind of get rid of it. And so first of all, let's look at what we can do here. So one approach that we have is being able to use splice and use the index position to get the item from that location. And so what I'm going to do is let remove index. It's going to be a number. And the number I want to remove is the, the number seven here. And so remove index equals even numbers dot index of, and it's going to be the number seven. And what index f will return is going to the array and return index position of where seven is going to be found, which would be zero, one, two, three, four. But it doesn't matter because this is all taken care of for us. And so now if you want to remove the item, I'm just going to first check to make sure that the item is actually found. If then even if index even numbers cannot find, if index f cannot find seven in even numbers, you return a value of negative one. And so I'm just making sure that that is not the value returned. I'm going to do even numbers dot splice and I'm going to use remove index the value returned by index of and then one which is the number of elements from that starting point to remove and we only want to remove the, the number seven and so just one item we're going to be removing. So if we go ahead and do console.log and do two things even numbers dot length get the length of our array and then console.log even numbers get the actual array contents themselves. And so if everything worked well and I hope it does you will basically see two things happening. You will see the length of our array is six items because one item has been removed. So it's one, two, three, four, skip seven, five, six. And if you look at the contents of our array, it's zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's great. Now that's an easy way of removing items by using a combination of index of and being and, and splice. Now there is one more approach we have for removing items as well, and that is by using the delete keyword. And so I'm going to leave everything else here except for the remove everything except the even numbers and remove index value. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use a delete keyword, delete even numbers. And the, what I'm going to pass in this time is remove index, which is again the position that the number seven is going to be found here. So remove index. Okay. And so then I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing I did before. Maybe I should have deleted it. Constant log even numbers dot length. And again, console.log even numbers. Now, the difference between delete and the earlier approach is that delete doesn't actually remove the element from our array. Well, it removes it, but it replaces that value with the value of empty. And so if I were to see what's going on, we still have seven elements in our array. And look at the contents of our array. If I were to kind of make it smaller, you can see that 0, 2, 4, 6, empty, 8, and 10. And if I expand it, you can see that the array position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 is actually skipped. You know, in this particular visualization, 4 is skipped, but it's because it's an empty value, but the length of array is still the same. And so if you want to fully remove an item and any trace of it from our array, use the index of and splice method. If you just want to remove the item but leave a spot where the item was originally, use delete. And of course, if you want to delete all instances of an element from our array, do not use the, both the approaches here. Instead, use filter, which is covered in another video we talked about earlier. All right. And so there you have it, a very quick overview of being able to remove an item from our array, both officially and fully and thoroughly. And then another one where we just kind of plop it out, but leave the space it took behind. If you have any questions, post on form.crypto.com. There's also a book edition of all this content. So check it out in Kindle and paperback editions. Hit subscribe to be notified of new videos like this and follow me at Karupa on Twitter, Facebook, and other places. And with that, I'll see you all next time.